How are you going to celebrate tonight? The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go in that locker room and dance with my players. <laughs> <laughs> what dance are you going to do? Type away. I never heard of that one. You better check it out. You're showing me Quan. You're showing me Quan. All right. I, All right. Like this thing. I got the news off a tweet at first. I got a tweet from my, like the locker room jam. I seen, I seen them getting crunk off of it. Off of it. And it, uh, it made me feel some type of way the first time. <laughs> You're thinking like of a coach who's older, you feel me? You wouldn't, you wouldn't think like he'll be listening to my type of music. A shout out to Dark Quest, uh, the defensive back who put the whole team on the song. And that was their anthem song. Hey, hey. The school got in touch with me. And they were like, man, we want you at the Rose Bowl, whatever we have to do. I had uh, came from a show. I had left North Carolina that night. Flew straight to Pasadena, California. And the Rose Bowl, that experience was something else. I sat in the seats at first because I didn't want to like distract the players. So, so they told me like within the last two minutes of the game, oh, come on, we're gonna come up here and give you passes so you can be on the uh, on the side. Last two minutes of the game, we're winning. So by the time they gave my pass, I was already feeling some type of way. He stopped him. He, he stopped him. He, he stopped won't him. go anywhere. He won't go anywhere. And then we won. They won the game. After the game, they brought me on into the party. They let me hold a trophy. I hold a Rose Bowl trophy. I got me a hat. I got me a shirt. Right after that. Coach D'Antonio like gave his speech, you know, it was like a real locker room, like, uh, where well, you did good, the players did good, you know, they gave out a game ball. You know, it was like a real, you know, locker room speech. And after the speech, he said, let's do our original. Let's turn the song on. Rich I'm McCoy, you in the middle. <laughs> I was like, I told him I just want to step back and I just want to embrace the moment. I told him I just want to watch. I didn't even want to take that away from them because like I was excited about them winning. You got to think, I'm just, uh, I'm a fan of theirs just as much as they're a fan of mine. So I really just step back and watch them and let them do their thing. They, put, they still put me in the middle. <laughs> I seen like it wasn't just the football players, but it was the whole school that had the rich homie pride. You feel me? Like I'm the second mascot. That's how I feel. I'm the second mascot. I don't. I can't take Sparty's position. Yes, yes. Sparty for life. <laughs> and what it do, man? It's about Rich Homie Corn. You're watching Sports Illustrated, and I want to give a big shout out to Extra Mustard, Rich Homie, baby.